and we'll get a little bit more of a running around the yard and then call it a day. As far as drivability goes, this thing is just a little beast. It's just got so much power with those scooter motors, it's, it's ridiculous. Traverse on the cannon and elevation. Whoops, that was a volume pop. Good elevation on the cannon. The MG34 is remote. <coughs> just barely see the LED flash in this light, but it does have an LED in the end of the machine gun barrel. You've got to change the soundtrack so that it syncs up better. She does have smoke, but I'm going to have to rebuild another smoker unit for her. There you have the one six scale hats are about to head back for the barn. I think she really looks a lot different with those skirts on there. I pull the skirts off to bring it in and out of the house because I don't want anything getting beat up, you know. Okay, fellas, now here's the deal. This tank is for sale, all right, but it's pickup only. If you want it, you're going to have to come to Detroit to get it because I will not try to ship it. I'll like, entertain offers starting right around $3,500, and that's for the entire tank with the FlySky i10 radio, uh, the extra six cell batteries, you get two all together, batteries for the IBU, uh, you get the whole paintball system, the whole FPV system with the little pirate, little pilot screen and the uh, camera that goes underneath the main gun. There's just too much to list, but I think 3500 is quite a reasonable price, especially if you look at something along the lines of Armor Tech. And now this one, I, I think my drive system is just as good as Armor Tech. It's got plenty of power, no problem. Uh, way better than the, the underpowered little motors that came with the tank originally. But if anybody's interested, you can uh, send me a private message at the forum, and, uh, and I'll get back to you. Like I said, pick up only. See you next time.